welcome back to Blonde Next Door and if this is your first time, welcome. Today's video is partnered with Arteza. If you don't know what Arteza is, it is a company that carries uh, art supplies. They have everything from paints, uh, brushes, um, canvases, wood supplies, clay, anything that you need to um, do any art projects. They were so nice to send me some supplies so I got all of this um, this big package of paint and I also got these canvases so I'm ready to do some great projects using these products. Arteza also has their own YouTube channel and I'm gonna have it linked in the description box down below and currently they're running a giveaway it is a Easter related giveaway and uh, you can uh, go ahead and check it out, enter the giveaway if you would like. They're giving away uh, $100 worth of supplies and it's gonna be two winners. So it is definitely uh, worth to go ahead and enter the giveaway, but also the giveaway video is amazing. You're gonna get wonderful ideas out of it. So I'll have all that linked in the description box down below. If you decide to uh, purchase any of their products, you can click on the link that I'm gonna have provided in my description box and also use my code Blondie next door one to receive 10% off of your purchase. I am Arteza um, affiliate, which means I earn small commission uh, for each sale, but that has no extra cost for you guys. I just want to uh, take a few seconds to say I hope all of you are safe and staying home and following the guidelines and all this will pass and we're gonna come out stronger. One thing that I wanted to mention, the convenience of ordering anything from this company is that they will deliver it straight to your door so you don't have to go out and purchase anything that you might need for any of the art. Now products. I was very excited to start using these products that they sent me. The paint is so colorful and I had few projects in mind so let's go ahead and let's start crafting. For my first project I'm going to be using these colors over here, then the wooden beads from the Dollar Tree, then a large popsicle sticks and a paintbrush and a white jute wine from the Dollar Tree as well. First I'm going to start with lighter colors with a pink um, color palette and I understand that over here um, for this project I did not have uh, wood beads uh, and maybe you're not going to be able completely uh, to see the coverage that these um, colors have but uh, later on I'm going to show you on a darker beads how light color is applied and I'm, I can tell you that if you want lighter coverage it takes one coat and for total coverage it takes two coats and I think that's very good for acrylic paint. And when it comes to drying, it dries pretty fast. I was very impressed. Now uh, I left my beads to dry and I'm gonna be making tassel. I uh, took these popsicle sticks as just a form and I'm wrapping around my white jute twine around as many times as I think it's necessary. Then I'm pulling it off and I'm cutting it on one side and that's where I'm gonna be uh, leaving it for now and I made two of those. Uh, next I'm taking one popsicle sticks. I am cutting it in a half so in the middle and I'm going to just sand it a little bit so it doesn't have rough edges and next I'm, I will paint it with white paint from this collection uh, completely on both sides and after uh, that was dried I took um, the orangey mustard brown color that I was using previously to just dry brush it a little bit. I didn't show over here but I did use a small small drill to drill a little hole on the end of this popsicle sticks. After all this was dry this is how it looked like I think it's really cute and then I'm using my pencil to write my kids names on each. Next I'm using um, a paintbrush a very fine paintbrush and a gray color paint that I already used to go over these letters. Next I'm gonna be uh, threading the beads uh, through the twine and I'm creating a color pattern. Then I'm cutting off the twine and I'm uh, tying it twice 
creating a loop with the beads. Next step is going to be to add a, a tassel on the bottom and you're going to find the middle of the tassel and put it like so and uh, tie two knots on it. Then uh, I'm going to be looping um, one of the pieces of the tassel uh, through this tag, tying a knot and next I'm going to be wrapping these long pieces around um, each will go on the opposite side and I'm tying a knot on it. I hope I explained it right and you can see what I'm doing over here and that way the tassel is created. I'm cutting off the axis on the bottom to make it straight and that's pretty much it for this project. I've created these beautiful napkin rings and I want to create two more for my husband and myself. These can be perfect for Easter and also honestly for spring and all throughout the summer because of these beautiful colors. If you're new to my channel, I would like for you to stick around. I hope you enjoyed my videos and click that red subscribe button that way you will join my youtube family and don't forget to click on notification bell on so you don't miss out on any of my future videos like this video and share it with your friends somebody might find it interesting and helpful for my second project i decided to use these beautiful colors it was so hard to choose which color to use uh, you saw there were so many and they're all so pretty and I'm using one of these canvases that they sent me. I'm using uh, leftovers of toilet paper roll and I'm cutting uh, the small slits on the bottom of the toilet paper roll just like this. And this is how it should look at the end. Now I'm taking the colors one at a time, spreading it out and I am dipping in my toilet paper roll and I'm creating um, the circles. Now my idea was that this is going to be a dandelion kind of thing but um, honestly because of the colors I can treat it as any color any flower. I think it is so fun to make. I actually saw this a long long time ago um, online I saw a video about this this technique and I knew I wanted to try it eventually and when I got this canvas and these beautiful colors I knew that's what I wanted to do with it. Now you see me over here adding different colors and just going on and on around and creating um, the size that I want. I'm also um, using a paintbrush in the middle over here just to um, add the stem and also just adding a little more texture wherever I think it's needed. If you're doing this, you can literally use any colors you want. Uh, what I saw online was actually um, black canvas and it was white. So they didn't even use colors and I'm going to try to link it down below if I find that uh, video. But um, that is pretty much it for this project. I just decided to add um, jute twine this um, natural color and also white color um, of twine wrap it around the bottom and that's it for this project i am so in love with this i hope you guys like it too it was so fun to make so relaxing and putting it over here on a shelf and on this mini pedestal that i made a long time ago in one of my previous videos um, i actually think it looks perfect and i'm going to show you over here it actually matches with the picture that's above and I didn't even notice before that there is a dandelion on that picture so I think it's perfect that's it for today's video thank you so much for being here for watching please tell me in the comments down below which one of these was your favorite don't forget to check out the giveaway video that Arteza has on their channel also if you want to purchase any of the their products make sure to use my code blonde next door one to receive 10 percent off of your purchase again thank you so much for watching thank you Arteza for providing these supplies for me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!